Hi everybody, um, I'm going to do a nursery tour video and it's going to be alongside Theme Thursday which is furry pets. Maybe I should have brushed my hair before I started, hey? Blooper! There we go. So today is Wednesday when well, I'm videoing this and it'll be up tomorrow which is Thursday and um, come and see what we've been getting up to. So that's the doorway, if um, you can't remember, and nothing has changed on the shelving, and nothing has changed in the hanging up rack, okay? So I've had no changes there. The next thing I'm going to sort out are these, bo these bags here. There are five or six bags under there, and the kids have one each, and most of the kids have one each. They also have the hanging rails and they also have a box here each or two as in the case of Heidi uh, and Leo might have two I think anyway so I want to that's going to be my next task is going to sort this out because I want to be able to use this under here for some storage for these two items these two items aren't usually here this one is usually um, hidden against um, the pack away cot that I have, um, travel cot, and this used to be downstairs, but I brought it up here now. This is um, our aeroplane toy. So really, they both fold up pretty flat-ish, not, not exactly flat. So I want to be able to store them under here, so I need to get rid of these bags. And I don't really don't need these bags. It's just like, I just have so much stuff and I just need to sort it out. Now, can you remember what used to be here? If you don't remember what used to be here, then maybe you need to go back and just check on one of my old videos of the Rebo Nursery. The Rebo Nursery does have its own playlist, so you might, if you want to, stop now and go and have a look at that. But anyway, what we had here was the kitchen. It used to have a little kitchen stood there and um, a cot with one side off and Annie's bed was there. So none of that is there now. I have these two things which I want to like I say pack under there I have little blessed little Leo he's in here with mummy at the moment he's in this high low chair and the theme of the week is pets and he has got some bunny rabbit toys hanging from here I love these um little hoops on this toy thing because it means you can hang anything on there so I just hung these um, pastel bunny rabbits for um, theme Thursday and I've added this um, grey and mint green blanket that I got second hand because the seat is grey and green I thought it looked nice together and then the other chair that I bought the other day fits nicely underneath here underneath I mean that will store flat if you saw me opening that and reviewing that absolutely love it I sit the babies in it a lot <coughs> excuse me and so I just put that under there it goes under there perfectly so I can use it all the time so now we're going up to some bigger changes so the bigger changes are all the way along this side of the nursery so used to be the bunk beds used to be there the um, travel cot used to be over there, tucked away in there. Um, unfortunately, it messes around a bit of the decoration for now, but the reason I had a big change around is because I've bought something really big, which is downstairs, and I'll show you that in another video. I haven't even videoed that yet, that I thought was going to go up here, but it's not going to go up here now. Um, so... We put Annie's bed over here. This is the bed made by Grumpy. So I'll show you a little video here if you haven't seen um, or seen any posts that I've put on. I don't know if I've put anything on Instagram maybe, but I've put on Facebook about Grumpy making me a little bed for Annie. And I'll do put that in here. Look what Grumpy's making everybody. Look what's in our lounge at the moment. What does that look like to you? Yes, Grumpy's making Annie's bed. He's got it all clamped in at the moment. 
Look, here come the slats. Too short, ain't More. Oh my gosh, I've got to make her bedding and everything. And Ross is going to paint it white. But look, he's put these on. He's done all of the little grooves. He's even added grooves onto the end. This, this is the bottom, and that's the top. And we've also got to get, I've got to order some Toy Story stickers now. Whoa, well, my lovely husband, he's so clever. You've all seen the bunk beds. So while I was away this um, weekend, he's he got on with this for me. Did he, honey? Say yay! Mind your feet on that. Say yes! I've got my own bed again. This is a little cute one. Look at that. This is so cute. So, measured it to be half the size of a cot. So it's half the length way, lengthwise and half widthways. Because, as you know, I kept saying the cot took up lots and lots of room in there. So then to probably have a bit of foam, I'll probably have to order a bit of foam. And um, to fit for a mattress. But, um, yeah, look at the big clanks in that now. Russ is just getting all the glue off. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You're so clever. Yeah. Oh, thanks. What? Video in this. What did I do? Blurp. And look, he's done this as well. So it's all curving. And it's all fitting in there properly. Just like, it's not screwed <coughs> in. I'm so, oh Russ, oh thank you so much. <laughs> and Lee is modelling the sides. And so I've got to cut down all the bedding so it all fits. Look, I put her in to show the sides, Russ. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Russ is just gonna make sure that it is what is it? Not twisted. Square. Make sure it's square while he while it's gluing together. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Oh anyway. So now it's gotta wait till the glue dries. <laughs> make the slats and then you're gonna paint it, aren't you? Yeah, I think you leave it overnight there because those are quite, take a lot of pressure those joints. Yeah. Just stay overnight, enjoy that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Russ. Oh. So here we are with how many coats is this? First. First coat of Annie's bed. Doesn't it look neat? So it's got to be rubbed down and have its second coat. But can you see the slats fit now? When Russ first did a couple, they were too short. Look how neat that is. Oh, so sweet. So that is this stage. Won't be long and it'll be finished. The foam has come to make the mattress. So I will be making the bedding in that soon. Oh, she's so lucky. So it is really, really cute. Um, Annie had a child size single duvet cover on the cot that used to be over there and so I got some foam I measured it there's foam underneath here um, very very cheap and then I got this um, what's this called uh, it's not a sheet it's a top sheet it's a mattress protector. I bought a mat mattress protector and I cut it up and I um, added elastic down both sides, pulled it tight so it fits under there. So that's Annie's, acts as Annie's sheet. And then for the this cover, I just got two of these blankets because they're quite heavy. They are brand new. Um, what they called cellular blankets 
Um, so I got two of those because they're nice and heavy and then I just cut off some of the duvet and just stitched it up so it makes it nice and heavy means that it can lie flat and it, but it still doesn't need a, um, a duvet inside because that would have been a lot of a lot of cutting um, but it's nice and heavy that makes it hang down and that is a full size um, cot bed pillow I think that is so that's a single cup pillowcase on it. I haven't done anything to that. And Annie is down here. Aren't you, Missy? And she's reading all about her Toy Story, Bonnie. And you're reading all about Bonnie? So I put her blankets back up here. So you had these blankets on there, didn't you, Missy? So we bought. I bought her a mat. This is a Toy Story 4 Max. It's got the latest characters on it. And I bought her um, a Toy Story box now for all of her Toy Story bits and bobs in it. This is our Build-A-Bear. Auntie sent me this swimsuit, this woody swimsuit. Auntie Denise a while ago, so we put it on the Build-A-Bear. And these are her toys. That was the newest toy you've seen in one of our vlogs, maybe, when we went to Auntie Sheena's or um, the shopping hall when we went to Auntie Sheena's. We went shopping. And then all of our other Toy Story bits are all in there. So they're nice and easy for her to get to. So if we go back to this side, I just wanted to show you her bed because I was so chuffed with it. <laughs> Grumpy did a great job. Bless him. Grumpy also made the bunk beds for me. So in the travel cot is a cute little bum bum. Meow. <laughs> hey, hey, you got a cute little bum bum there, Missy. She's got a pussy cat on her bum, look. And her feet have got paw prints on. How stinking cute. Is, oh, she's playing with Peter Rabbit. Is, are you coming to say hello? Yay! Is little Miss Emily. She says, I've been having a cat nap, everybody. Doesn't it look cute? This is what I, one of the very first hauls that I got Emily from. I went into Mother Care. They had a really good sale on. And um, this looks like a two-piece, but it is um, a one-piece baby grow. So it looks like a shirt, a stripy shirt, and a spotty bottoms. They are so cute. Hey, are you in here playing happily? Yeah, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Okay, I'll let you carry on and play. So then this is the changing unit. So this is the Joey or Jou No, it's not. It's a grey comb. <laughs> And it came with a changing unit and um, as an extra. And you could get a bouncy chair that fits on here, like a little bouncy thing. But I decided against that because if I had both of them on here, then I wouldn't be able to put any babies in here. So I got um, this one with the changing mat. So at the moment, the changing mat has got on top of it this back bucket of toys. This lovely, lovely bag of toys. So I kind of like sorted them out. These toys are hanging toys and loveys in here. I don't really know where I want to put that because I'm really fussy about putting stuff on the floor. So I'm not sure because the bottoms get all yucky and dirty. So I'd have to put a mat down first and then put this on. Oh, I just, there's no rhyme or reason for how um, my clean freak gets to me. And then next to it are the um, Peter Rabbit boxes. One's got all Peter Rabbit toys in. And one has got bottles and cups and plates and things for the littles. And then in this basket on the top are lots of little like grippy toys. Rattles. Things that they can hold on to. And the ball. All sorts of toys in there. So that's that one. And then it, underneath this changing unit, I've got a couple of blankets because this is usually Harry and Heidi's bed. Um, so there are a couple of blankets. I mean, not changing blankets. A couple of blankets underneath for them. Um, look at this cute bunny. We've got this cute bunny off Auntie Sheena. It's lovely dark colours. I absolutely love it. Hand knitted. I think it is knitted. Not crochet, yeah. 
maybe it's crochet I don't know but anyway those sort of colors really suit Miss Emily so um, I was like Sheena can I have that so I did <laughs> um, I still I really want to get rid of this toy box I really do but be why because it just doesn't fit anywhere else <laughs> and I just want to get rid of this big green tote with all the extra other toys in oh and a bottle of Annie's bollocks of it and a grippy toy I don't think Frankie did such a good job of packing the toys away and that looks like it needs a wash Annie so that was last night's there's no room under here because we've got the two trikes Annie's and Timothy's trikes we've got a box full of books we've got the nursery pets and this is where I've put the kitchen for now Jen is there sat in the trolley I'm not sure if we're gonna keep the kitchen Lizzie was the kitchener and Lizzie has left the building and we have had this for quite a long time so I don't know maybe I'm a little bit bored with it now I don't know so I haven't done anything to that just move it there while I think about it because actually a couple of years ago I bought a shop for in here I like a it's like a pop-up shop but I've never had room to put it in here and um, it's still next door and it's back and everything that's not the big thing that I was thinking I had to change the nursery around for the big thing I thought I was having changed was going to take up this great big space here so I don't know I might bring the shop in and have the shop in for a change um, table and chairs are still there not too bad looking with piles are we at the moment this is my danger area I got rid of they used to be I used to have a changing unit with some shelves underneath that was a huge danger area for storage for me for just dumping not storage dumping so um, I got rid of that and that's why we got that changing unit there so I can change the babies on there and um, so now it's just got some new things I've got this new coat for Emily it's really really nice it is not an expensive one it's early days which is a cheap brand but it is um, it's really thick like sweatshirt material and um, needs a lint roller over it it's got a little bow here um, so I got that one for Emily and the little romper that she has does come with a hat but I didn't really like the hat on her she's got gorgeous hair I didn't like the hat on her and I also bought Annabelle some winter boots because they were a real bargain. I know they say Emu Australia, I know they say that, but you would not believe the cheap price I got these for. Look at them. I don't know what that is. Is it a llama? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. They're brand new. I've got a little like velcro bit there and a velcro bit oh I thought the velcro bit was the other side so the velcro's in there they might look ridiculous on her I don't know and I might get rid of them but I got offered them for a really good price so I was like yes please I will take them so that's new boots for Annie and then over here are the bunk beds let me stand back so you can just get the full view for now and Frankie absolutely is loving being on the top bunk up over there because she loves the enclosed little bit. So I don't know. When I move, when we move next year, I won't have like, it'll just be a square room, I think. So I'll have to buy, I think you can buy like these light up things that kids can have that go across their beds. So I'll probably have to get her something like that because she is loving sleeping up there in the corner. I mean, it's just unfortunate that that's where all my Peter Rabbit stickers and things are. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is where um, Frankie's posters and pictures are. But never mind. This was, we. I, mummy thought she needed to have a change because of this big thing that I've got. And um, turns out that I didn't have to bring it up here after all. 
my grumpy had told me that before I'd gone about changing all of this around but never mind anyway it made me have a good sort out too so sometimes these things just happen don't they Frankie has a new dress on well it's like a you can wear a legging so it's like a above the knee type of dress sleeveless it's got pussy cat on the front look at that it's got a, Frankie yeah I know you're reading your book can we can you just like look up at your aunties a minute hey I know you're reading your book I know that <laughs> but can we just show them appreciate your top look how cute it is on her she's just so adorable she's got a pair of jeans on with it but you can just put a pair of leggings and that on underneath but she wanted to put her jeans on and when she got home from school today and um, she is reading this book that um, one of my children bought me Sleepy Kittens from Despicable Me it's the story they read in Despicable Me about the sleepy kittens so that's what you're reading isn't it hey and Frankie is very much a, a furry lover so we have got he's loving this doggy auntie Sheena from yours so cute she is absolutely loving it and for some reason we've got Hedge up here hey Mr Prickles and behind there somewhere is Frankie's yeah there's Frankie's Dalmatian so there you go yes I will leave you to read your story now okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> and if you notice they've all got blankets with them We've all got blankets because, you know, we're a blanket type of family. And so Mr. Timothy is on the bottom bunk. Now he's all on his own. So last night, um, no, no, last night, earlier on, I caught a picture of him and Annie together reading a story. It was so sweet up on the bed. So he has got his little pussy cats. I mean, you, you got your furry pussy cats. Are you reading them to stories, were you? Are you reading them stories? Yeah, so I put another pillow up there for him because there is actually a socket behind there. So I pushed these, the pillows up. So he's got like his own little nook there. But when we get a new addition, <gasps> say, I gotta share again. You will have to share again one day because this is a big nursery isn't it and some come and stay for a long time some come and stay for a short time and start some come and stay forever yeah so you will have to share hey no pouting no 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 pouting hey i think you're a big boy yes i think he's actually missing lizzie a little bit but never mind all things change so yeah so there's Timothy's bed and I've just bought Timothy some new boots for winter he has got on sandals at the, at the moment so I'm just getting him some new boots because he, he has welly boots and he has a pair of trainers but that is it so I hope they're not too heavy because I usually find that kids boots are quite heavy so, Frankie you can go back and read now my love <laughs> So there we go, everybody. That is the change to our nursery. Hope you like it. Mm -hmm.